Hello YouTube subscribers and watchers, what's up, from SlideNerd, this is Weaves over here. In this video, let me go to Android Studio directly and show you guys how to use a list activity. So the first thing we need to do is to define a data source. So I'm gonna go here, make a string array which contains Sunday to Saturday. So let me do that first. Alright, so at this step, I have my 7 days defined over here inside this array called string days. Next step, let me go and implement the list activity over here by saying list activity. Probably you're gonna get an error, but otherwise press alt enter let Android studio take care of importing the stuff for you and that's done right and then the next step is to go to our layout here and as you guys can see the design view there is nothing and inside the text also there's nothing so let's go to the design view first put a list view inside by going to containers taking this list view dragging and dropping it here at the top left go to our text inside if you remember the list view we need to give it a very specific ID we cannot give it our own IDs because the list activity will only find a list view whose ID is exactly at the rate Android ID slash list now this is how they both work with each other it's like saying that the list activity is like hey dude where is that guy who had an ID of Android ID slash list and the list view is like hey here I am and that's how things work so let's go to our main activity now we need a reference to the list view so I'm gonna simply say list view again you're gonna get an error saying blah 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 press alt enter you can import it automatically and now the simple part is we don't have to say find view by ID or blah 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 we can simply say L equals to get list view at this point your list activity will go and say hey dude I think I had a guy whose ID was Android ID slash list so let me go and find that person and then he's gonna find that list view and it's gonna return that object to you guys here which gets assigned to L and that is the reason why you have to specify the ID like that and the next step remember adapter data source so for the data source let's use an array adapter because here we are using an arrays now remember if you guys are not familiar with adapters and stuff you can go ahead and refer my last three videos which have been dedicated to talking about list adapters and the different types so here I'm gonna simply create an array adapter by saying array adapter of type string adapter equals to new array adapter so if you guys remember the array adapter does nothing but takes the data from the array or database and creates a simple view from that data right so three parameters the first is the context you simply say this second is how a single row should appear now again I have discussed a lot about this here I'm gonna simply use a simple text view for a single row and that text view is contained already inside a file which is known as android.r.layout.simple.list.item1 now if you open this file you will notice that there is only one text view inside now I have shown this in the last video you guys can go ahead and refer there the third part is the data source days itself so at this point we have created the array adapter next is to tell the list view that hey dude you know who's your adapter it is this guy the adapter so I'm gonna say L dot set adapter and there you go we're almost done at this point at this point everything is ready the user will see the list view but when he clicks on the list view nothing is gonna happen for that we don't have to implement listeners here things are very simple let me show you what to do you can simply say on list item click and bam done all right so this on list item click method has the same kind of four parameters that your on item click listener had so these parameters are the same if you guys haven't seen them you can go back to my previous video refer where I talked about these parameters in detail again first parameter is the list view itself second parameter is that object which represents a single row inside your list view in our case if you remember a single row is represented inside your simple list item 1 layout file now if you open this file inside your SDK folder you will notice only one text view so in our case this view V actually represents a text view that is returned indicating which row the user clicked and then there's the position then there's a long ID which doesn't matter as long as you're not using a database so here I'm gonna go ahead simply I'm gonna say, say text view temp equals to V I'm gonna convert this view into a text view this is gonna give me an error I need to use typecasting press alt enter and then you're done at this point we can use a toast by saying toast the position where it was clicked for that I'm gonna put also position here and I'm gonna say toast dot length underscore short dot show that's all guys that's all just save this click run and you will see, you will see exactly how things work 
all right folks so here my emulator is up with list test if I click on Sunday what happens the on list item click is called and as you guys can see the temp dot get text actually gives me this text Sunday because this is a single text view defined inside my Android dot R dot layout dot simple list item one if I click on Tuesday you can see it says Tuesday 2 this 2 is nothing but the position if you remember it starts with 0 1 2 and so on so I hope you guys have understood something out of this video if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel comment let me know your thoughts I would love to hear from you guys thanks for watching I'll catch you guys in the next vid have a nice day